Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So today we're going to take on a four and a half skull mission. We're going to jump right into it. All our mechs are repaired and we're ready to go. Um, I don't really, I don't remember what I did between last episode and this one because uh, I batch recorded last time and it's been a couple days. But I, I don't think we did anything. Uh, I think we just got the mechs repaired and we're ready to go again. So we're going to go to the command center. I know the last mission really wasn't that great at five skulls. And I'd like to take another one, but I don't think, like this is an escort mission. Howl of the Beast, yeah, I'm not really think we're, I don't think we're ready for a Raxilla quite yet. Um, Reconquest is a destroy base at five skulls um, pi against a pirate band. Um, that's an urban, well, you know, that might be a possibility. I was thinking about doing a hard target at four and a half. Biological samples is two, that's wolf facility. Don't think we're ready for a five skull against the clans just yet. I have no idea what to expect with that. So let's go with hard target. I know this one we're probably going to be facing at least 17 mechs. Um, so it's a two to one odds for them. Let's let's take it and see what happens. We can always bail it if we can, if we have to. Urban environment always offers good cover, so we can utilize that as well. So let's just negotiate this. Going to go full salvage and accept. Um, now with this one, we're definitely going to want to have two archers running. So let's get our second lance into play here. Uh, Mastodon and Warhorse, or Workhorse, sorry. Uh, the Zeus X, the Grand Summoner B. Let's go with the archer on this guy. And I think I want to run... So this is our Ultra 10 guy with a large and medium heavy and a mag shot. Thunderbolt has got... Yeah, I wasn't really thrilled with the MML loadout. Now, I know I didn't give it quite a chance, but I don't think this is the particular mission to run that. Although we do have extra Thunder ammo, although I'm finding the Thunder ammo to be kind of weak. Uh, it does have a tag barrage, though, which will come in handy. This guy is the long-range guy. You could stand at the end of the street and just shoot people, but um, it's a tough choice. Let's go with the tag barrage, I think. I think we're using the barrages is being, although this guy's got a Mark II AMS. This guy's just got the laser AMS. The Mark II might come in more handy. Um, but we've got a UAV here as well. So let's go with the Thunderbolt. It may not be the best choice, but we're gonna take it. Like I said, we, we need to figure out what we're gonna do. We need one more good mech here at the end. I know I sold that 90 tonner last time, but or a couple episodes ago, and um, it just really wasn't for us. But we're going to go this route, see if we can pick up some more parts for, for another uh, heavy mech here, you know, 70, 75, because these guys really aren't working the way I want to. Anyway, let's deploy and get this done. Command interface initiated. All right, guys, here we go. <clears throat> Sorry, clear my throat there. Okay, so most likely we'll have a lance on either side, two lances plus the main guy ahead of us. So there's our main guy. Looks like there's so many mechs in this game, if I had to guess. Kind of looks like an awesome, but I could be wrong. I guess maybe it's wishful thinking. I'm hoping it's an awesome because we have awesome parts. That would be a nice mech. Um, so our extraction zone is on this side. And it looks like we got a lance over here too. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Yeah, it looks like an ideal place for something called defeat in detail. Although it's not gonna happen with the number of yeah, so they got four lances plus their boss. So here's what we want to do. Um uh, if you've never heard of the term defeat in detail, um basically what you want to do is it, I, I think it started in the Civil War, but the idea is that when you're facing a, a larger enemy and they're spread out like this, what you want to do is take your main force and defeat the smaller forces first and then fight the main guy. So at least you're stripping them of resources. So that's what we're going to do. Now, originally I thought I was going to push up the right here, um, but because our escape point here is on the left, um, we're going to take out this lance first. We're going to just dogpile these guys, kill them really fast, and then hopefully we can... I, I think these two lances will engage. Uh, but hopefully we can get a shot at the boss here. Now, if he doesn't move too far back here, we should be okay. The last time we fought them, the main guy ran away 
and hid, so we basically had to defeat everybody before defeating him. Alright, uh, not the best mech to move first. Um, and they're going to be able to see us up here. So let's try and get into some positions where we can move in next turn. Because we're pretty split up here. So let's get behind buildings and stuff. Now, I wish there was a road here, but... Can you not move? Guess you're jumping. Okay. Commander? Dallas with the hyper laser. Let's get back here. Got it. Speed, no Make sure we step on as many cars as possible. Just to let them know how upset we are being here. Uh, you're kind of choked in there. Okay, Goofy. Uh, ATM build. Let's not get too exposed, but let's just pull into here in striking distance. I want to see if we can pull down these four guys within like one turn, if not if not two. Okay. Let's bring it up over here. We're going to switch the... Uh, so I don't forget to do this. I'm getting better at not forgetting to switch out the ammo. Alright, let's do that. I just need to get better at, at turning the freaking tags off. <laughs> uh, we're on a building. Good thing we got jump jets. Oh, we can jump onto another building. That's going to really be helpful, isn't it? Alright. Oh, we can jump down over here. Let's just jump down here. I want to be off the buildings. I've seen how easily these buildings can come down, so... Uh, Alright, workhorse. Uh, you're going to need to be doing some work here early on. So let's get up here. Got it. So let's... Okay, we got LRM Thunder and Dead Fire. Let's switch to the Dead Fire for now. I want to try and save the Thunder ammo for any... Um, I'm going to expose myself, though. Um, I'm going to expose... Save the Dead Fire... Or the, uh, Thunder ammo for any mech we want to keep or anyone we want to neutralize from moving around too much. So I'm noticing if you if you thunder mechs, sometimes they'll just not move if they're afraid of taking too much damage to the leg. Okay. So those guys are probably moving towards the boss. Those guys are slowly moving in, but not much. Uh, okay, Dallas. Start the sucker off. Hopefully they're grouped up up here. Let's just see. Let's move forward. Grand Summoner. Alright, we got a bleep. Oh, beautiful vehicles. Um, urban Assault Vehicle. Marauder. A Rifleman. 50 ton, eh? Okay, so not so bad. So let's multi-target this. A and B. B is going to take the Barrage. Nah, not at that low chance. We're going to leave it off. Just going to fire on A then. The Hetzer's got a lot of SRMs. Okay. Going to be a slow start. wonder if I should just kill the Hetzer. What's the chance to hit here? Oh man. <laughs> These guys are in trouble. Oh, the Hetzer. I could probably deal with the Hetzer. It's only 40. Let's go for the kill and kill the Hetzer. Like I said, I want to guarantee right here. guarantee kills on this. Okay, you need to sprint up here. You're the rifleman killer. Well, you're the you're, she's really the Orion killer. It's Zeus versus Orion. Um, let's just go to four for now. We got lots of ammo. We're gonna leave the barrage off because we don't need it right away. Streak. Okay, I'm gonna leave this off. We're gonna save the ammo for later. 
Um, and yeah, we'll fire the rest. Don't mind firing those streaks. We got lots of ammo for them. Got 12 turns of firing. And we only know they're going to they're gonna hit if they're guaranteed of all hitting. So that's, that's kind of cool. It's a good way to save ammo. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Yeah. What's up, Commander? Sensor lock all you want ain't going to help your ass. Um, let's get down into here. I think we're pretty much at extreme range for the Ultra. Yeah. Um, let's just go with um, one. Arrow's got a good chance to hit, but I want to save that. Um, yeah, let's just go this route. Okay. They're a little far forward, unfortunately. We can't get eyes on them. I wish I, would, I wish we could because then I would definitely take a shot with the uh, the tags or the arrows to try and get some extra damage. It's definitely going to be at least three more turns before we engage those guys over there. Okay, he decided to just not do a damn thing. All right, how far can you get up here? Not very far. Okay, do I want to save the dead fire? We've got four turns of dead fire LRM firing. Barrage can stay off for now. Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about not killing this guy. Okay, penetration. We've still got two LRM mechs to go. It'll be interesting to see how long we can fight with the LRMs, the 16 guys, but, you know, these guys are full strength too. Something we got to worry about, the amount of ammo that we're going to be using. All right. Um, Good to go. Direct fire is always Duck best. Let's go. All right, Duck. Give this guy the what for. Here it comes. See ya. Tango down. Oh, you had a primitive engine too. Alright, let's just get up here. You don't need to actually shoot. Let's just get in here. Out. The AMS up here. A lot oh, a lot of guys are AMS protected at the back now. Which is good. Turn you off. And we got Goofy left. Got tons of ammo on those ATMs. I mean we have to because it's pretty much all he's got, but can always turn into a brawl bot if we need to. Okay, the modder decided to come back. Oh no, you did not just sensor lock me. <laughs> he did, and then just totally decided not to shoot at you. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, I see that. I'm You're all right. You're all right. Jesus. Is eight of us versus two of them? What? I don't even know why you're complaining. All right. Yeah, the AMS didn't hit it, did it? It's probably an arrow. We'll have to identify what that is fast. We need to spread out. So we're going to push the uh, through the right side with the forest and the building over here. We're going to push this way and head for this road. Looks like they got a chopper back there too. We should be able to kill these guys along the way. They're just minor minor nuisances. So we'll kill these guys as we sweep to this road. It's really, well, I mean, we can go up this road too. It's really the only way we want to go up, it's like directly where these guys are. I don't want to push myself too close to this extra lance. I'll worry about them when they show themselves up. Yeah, they're just figuring out where to go now. I'm going to turn the map slightly like this. Okay, Goofy, let's get up here. How far can you go? You got a direct line of sight on that guy? Beautiful. Now, can we get the regular tag? Let's leave the barrage off. We're going to fire the ATMs on him. Uh, I'm going to say, well, we can't hit him with HE anyway. I was going to say I'm going to save the uh, HE ammo for later. Looks like we missed with the tag. That's fine. 
going to sweep these guys next turn anyway. Our, initi our initiative is fairly solid. Just a little over 20. Okay, we got guys. Wow. Nice shot. Yeah, someone's got tracker sensors over there. Find out who he is in a second. I gotta be careful on who I shoot on over there. Because I don't want to be engaging the main guy. What do we got here? An asshat. Nice. 100 ton. So I gotta say, before we pulled off that last hundred, that last five skull mission, the last in the last episode, um, I did attempt to pull off a five skull before that, and it was successful. The problem is, is that uh, I it, I managed to record the intro, and then that was it. I ran out of drive space. So um, yeah, I didn't get it. I didn't get the entire episode. So I just said forget it and. Um, start it over again. Now, the um, the problem was I thought, okay, well, you guys aren't going to get a chance to see it. I did pick up an atlas piece and managed to complete the atlas that we had, but because it was off camera and stuff, I, I, I just kind of felt weird, like weird about uh, keeping it, so I just sold it off. It's like 1.5 million or something. So I sold it off. So maybe we can get enough atlas pieces today to get an atlas, but we'll see. Okay, let's not use infiltrator first. Duck. Start to spread out. Now, we may not fire, but we're going to move up here. I uh, want to see what our chances are at here. So we got an ass hat, 4%. Vehicle is 16. Thunderstruck, huh? Someone's been listening to ACDC. Gallant's taken some damage, and you've taken some damage, but not really great chance to hit, so we're going to hold off. I know, I've heard that saying, you know, a, sh a shot not taken is 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 um, always a miss. Yeah, sure, it's always a miss, but if you don't have ammo for, the la for that last couple rounds that you need it, you've got two rounds of always missing, so you might as well save it for those good chances to hit. Um... Am I better off applying this damage to that guy or this guy? I could probably kill the Gallant or be... Well, you know what? We've got tag barrages and stuff, so let's go after this guy. Let's weaken him up. Okay, he's unstable now. Should be able to put his ass on the ground if we go before him again. But yeah, as I was saying, that, that mission... Um, we didn't lose anything. It's not like I lost mechs or anything. It was just one of those things where, oh man, it, it happened. It was a good fight. We got Atlas pieces. I mean, we didn't, like, like I said, we didn't take any damage really or lose anything. Uh, let's see if we can, um, let's do this. Oh, we can't get B? Is it just, it's just out of range. Oh, because it's indirect. Oh, right. Yeah, dur. Gonna leave the haywire off for now. Let's fire the rest on this guy. Good chances to hit. Here it comes. It was a city fight? Um, see ya. Now, they had, they had a bunch of mechs. We took some damage, but nothing critical. Um, let me think here. They had, they had a Cyclops, an Atlas... Helipolis, that guy's coming from the reserves. This guy's coming from the flank. Um, what else do they have? An aero vehicle. I don't know, I can't remember it all now. Well, they had a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's just get you down here. They had a bunch of vehicles and stuff, so I mean, it really wasn't that bad. The tags worked really one like worked great wonders against the vehicles we got to kill that guy fast Losing lots of armor. yeah I know we are My armor is peeling away. you know it's gonna be peeling away 
the skin on your ass when I put my foot in it. Shut the hell up. Okay, let's move forward. Not the best positioning, but we're going to take it. See if we can take this guy out. Great chances to hit. Only going to go with one. Strip that armor away. But yeah, I mean, it was a straight up fight down a street. Main guys were in front of us. They had an extra lance. It, I mean, it really wasn't anything special. Certainly not as hilarious, hilarious as those two huge report me's, that's for sure. Um, I'm going to save the barrage. Now, is the SRM... Sorry, i got to go here for the SRMs, right? LK ammo, better? Okay, let's go this route. Come on, get a kill on him. Almost. Yeah. Let's not waste the racks on this guy, okay? If we can avoid it. Yep. Well, yeah, it's, we got lots of ammo. Mm, you don't need this. Well. Sure. See ya. Okay, we swept those guys. Beautiful. They're down to 13, less than 2 to 1 odds. Good enough for any infiltrator. But I was contemplating whether or not to, to tell you guys about that mission, but... I mean, it does, I, doesn't really matter. Like I said, I felt guilty about keeping the Atlas just because you guys didn't get the chance to see the fight. So I just sold it. I mean, I guess I could have just sold the part that I took, because we did have two Atlas parts. But the problem was is that I took it and I, then I assembled it, and then I ended the episode and everything, and then realized that I hadn't recorded the end of the video. Like, the whole battle was gone. I got to the dr basically the landing zone, and that was it. I, I just didn't see that we were missing that. Okay, we really need to target over there with a uh, barrage. Bring those guys under some heavy fire. They got rack fives. It could be an, is an issue, or even barrages. We gotta take them out fast, hopefully. Uh, acid ammo, huh? What's that guy? So it looks like their reinforcements have arrived. Thanatos. Alright. Just try ass hat. It'd be nice if that ass the Atlas was the uh their leader. Wait, we've all gone? Quick draw. Okay, not so bad. I guess we've all gone. That's the Thunderstruck. They got two of them. And the ass hat. Okay. Um. Get a shot at that Nidhog. Yeah, they laid a minefield over here. Alright, stay out of that area, guys. Minefield. Alright, we need to get into positioning here. At least we got some trees for some defense here. Since we're not really heating up, taking the shots. A couple hits, not bad. You know, those medium ER pulses, for two tons in the heat, they hit an awful lot. I don't mind having them on that, that mech. Thought about taking them off. Maybe putting something else on, but it's not so they're not so bad. Gonna jump away from that minefield, just position ourselves behind the building here. Uh, now I don't think we've really got a good chance to hit here anywhere. The choppers are gonna be like unhittable, quick draw, no. Well the thunderstruck, 
Yeah, no, I think we just brace here. Let's get our stability back. Alright, Dallas. Are you? We need to try and claim some positioning here. Let's leave the hyper laser off. It was damaged in the last battle. I did need to repair it, so I want to try to avoid uh, overcharging it as much as possible and only use it when we've got a good chance to hit. I mean, we can replace it with the uh, ERPPC risk. It's got good range, 75 damage, but the hyper laser at 100 damage, I mean, it's, it's pretty darn good. Although for that with the 72 heat, I don't know, like I mean you could put the ER PPC and the risk PPC plus the ER large. I'm listening. Although the e the risk PPC is 10 tons and the hyper laser is only 9, so it's a nice toss up. They're they're giving they're giving us lots of options now to choose what we want. I know we're grouping up, but we won't be for very long here. Good to go. All right, uh, we need to get close here. How far up can we get? Got an arrow tag. Let's not be in the open. Let's just get behind the building. I want to set up for an attack here. Got a little bit of instability, but I'm okay, I think. That Grand Summoner with the uh, Ultra 20, I think it's the right combination of speed, weight, and weapon on that mech. Now we just need to find a good balance to be able to hit with that thing. I mean, it's giving us about the same, like, mid-range chances, like, you know, f between 40 and 60% most of the time. But for me, that's not good enough. We need to find a, a better way to get that thing going. Now we do have a targeting computer in there, so we've got plus one ballistic, we've got plus one medium range, plus one, or plus two, I think, long range targeting in there. Um, so we really need to find something else that's going to augment that. Um, now you've got just a laser AMS, so that, that's fine. Let's get you into here. So what's the chance to hit this Nidhog? Probably pretty darn low. Actually, it is not low. It's actually pretty darn good. Now why are we overheating? Because these risks run really hot, that's why. Uh, let's take this. Copy that. Okay, nice solid connections. Maybe he'll back off. Get Thunderstruck moving forward. Nice. Oh, we got an Orion up here. That's the quick draw, two Thunderstrucks. Okay. All right, Master. I know so we said we were going to go this way, but they've denied us that area because of the minefields. Let's just move into here for now. We'll take a look at our chance to hit, but it's not going to be very high. Ah, 23 on this guy. Let's find out if he's got AMS. Somebody there does. Someone's got it. Could have been the Thunderstruck. Most likely it probably was. Well, there goes our cover. <laughs> a lot of heat, yeah. Recording. It's that fucking risk build. We gotta lose that risk build, I think. We got a direct line of sight on anybody. Oh, wait. What? It was, there we go. Oh. oh. As you wish. See if we can get the ATMs on this guy. Um... It should start with the direct line of sight first. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. We want to warlord this. I don't think we're going to kill him anyway. This is fire. Did we just fire the tag? We did, didn't we? Did we? No. That was our reg. That was our normal tag. We just happened to hit the building. Okay. All right. So 
So hopefully this this uh, fire here on the left burns itself out this turn. We're in a good position. They're going to come to the edge of that road here. Right? And we've got a lot of long range weapons and if we're in the forest for cover, we're just going to hammer them right in here. We got our close in guys. This guy's got to cool off. This thunderbolt, I don't know. I got to figure out what to do with this thing. Most likely we'll take it out of service. Like I said, those three 65 ton mechs, they're just really because we don't have a final good eighth mech. Although in this mission, maybe that Ultra or the uh, the Rack 2 might have been better. I mean, it does. We, we did we did put uh, the sensor trackers in it, so it does have really good long range potential. It's got the Ultra 5 and a couple of ER mediums to back it up, but that might be good against like things like well, I don't know, even against Nidhogs and vehicles. It's like the Rack 2 is doing 25 a pop. Really, isn't that big? You know? I mean, I guess maybe we could just turn the Hades. If we can get enough lasers again, we can put it back the way it was before I moved everything to the uh, night gear. Turned it into a long-range laser platform. Because that was working really, really well. We need a prototype double heatsink kit and a lot more prototype double heatsinks. And exchanger and uh, um, a heat bank. But I think we can do it. Okay, he's in tag range if we move up. So I think we'll take that chance. I hate these friggin' Nidhogs. They're that perfect. The 45 tons is perfect for putting a lot of devastating weapons on it, like a Rack 5 and stuff. And because they're hard to hit, makes them pretty dangerous. Especially at the speed they move. They could easily outflank you. So the defeat in detail is obviously not going to work now that these guys are on us, but that's fine. We just need to take guns now. We got we got to remove those two thunderstrucks. If we can pull the Orion down fast, great. These two Nidhogs have to go down fast, right? So that we they they lose numerical advantage. Because I don't mind, you know, if it's one on one with mechs, that's great. But when they've got supporting vehicles and stuff, if we can wipe them out faster. We're going to take that and do it. The Atlas really isn't that scary. It's got the, I mean, if it, it's the ass hat, so I don't know if it's an Ultra 20 on it or what it is. I can't remember what the loadout of that thing was. But usually it carries a, a AC 20 and LRM 20 and a bunch of other weapons. But if we can uh, mitigate that ass hat quick, we should be good, I think. Nidhogg trying to decide and if you don't fire if you just sit there I'm going to be very very disappointed after all of this thinking he's thinking he's thinking who do I want to shoot for don't know if you guys have ever watched Bleach um, I can't remember what, what season it was I think it was 6 where uh um, they make their way to uh, um, to fight Aizen and they're going through all of his uh, lower level bosses anyways Iroichi um, is fighting I can't remember the guy's name now but uh, he inflicts him with poison that basically takes that moment where you know um, they say that you know everything slows down for people who are like um, really adept at combat so all the moments slow down but he took that to the nth degree and hit this guy with something uh, some kind of poison that basically um, <laughs> uh, slowed it down so much that when Iroichi was walking straight up to him oh my god yeah someone's got rocket launchers we better get the hell out of there Ultra 20 destroyed. Oh my god. Anyways, he walked up to him and put a sword right right through his head really slowly. And as he was doing it, he was saying, 
yeah, this is going to seem like years and years and years for you. <laughs> and it only took a few seconds for him to do it. But it was like, could you imagine that? Where it's like, someone is about to kill you and you're watching it happen, but you're trapped and can't move. And the whole experience seems like years and years and years go by. I'm receiving you. That would be scary as shiz. Um, so the Nidhogg has spent its wad already, but let's see if we can get rid of this thing. All right. I think it was rocket launchers. I can't think of what else that would be. Let's fire up this hyper laser. I'm going to warlord this. Yeah, they're all rockets. AOE rockets too. Look at that. Snub nose PPC and a mag shot cannon. So it's still dangerous. Um, let's fire. We got to pull these guys down. Oh, nice hit. Good to go. Acknowledged. You're not in the best position, but I'm okay with that. We got to kill this guy. Not the best chances to hit, but we're taking it. See ya. Sure, I wish we could have done that earlier. What else do we have here? Ebola. Okay, so that side is down to three. Yeah. Alright, Hallion, do you think you can go on AA duty and get this other one out of here before he moves in and fires? Can we get his eyes on him? It's all indirect, huh? Alright, well, you're going to reserve. We can't afford to, uh... Can't afford to waste that rack this turn. Gundal, I need you. To, oh man, you're going at such a low, res, low. Uh, Awaiting order. Low movement here. That guy's indirect. It's all going to be indirect, I guess. All right. Um. Not the Nidhogg. 33 on that guy. 30 on that guy. So, can we use the HE? We can. Let's do it. See what we can get in this Thunderstruck. It's a lot of AMS. Good damage though. So I don't feel it was a waste. They got a lot of AOE, um, AOE, uh, my god, my brain is dying right now, um, AMS, so I gotta be careful of that. Lost the Ultra 20, I don't know what we're gonna do now. I have to reimagine that mech. Now we do have an Imperator, um, AC 20. Or, sorry, AC-10. Now, that's an AOE AC, and I've been hanging on to it. I don't think I sold it. I've been holding on to it because I thought it might work in a build somewhere. But it is 10 tons. It's, like, really weighty, so I don't know. Where's that Nidhogg? Did he just, just vanished? Walk it up. Let's get rid of our instability. Yeah, let's continue firing. Engage. Now the AMS is gone. Okay, not bad. Maybe we can shoo him away. Cyclops moving away. They know we're angry, that's why. Uh... Oh, oh! Oh, yeah, you want to run? You go Oh, man, really? Just the two ER largest? All right, that's fine. I thought we were going to hit you anyway. Commander. All 
right, they're running. Let's make it painful for them. Oh, well, you're the Orion killer, so. Let's go full and Warlord and see what we can get on this guy. If we get a good shot on him, great. If we don't, let's hope he's not the boss, too. Okay, a little bit of damage. It's not the main guy. I wonder if the main guy is still hiding back there. So it's it's one and a half to one odds now. But they've got what four guys that are damaged? The Nidhog, the vehicle, and the two mechs. We lost the Ultra Twenty. Um, you're in a minefield too. They're in full retreat. After we killed that Nidhog though, I guess they decided that was enough. Yeah, we can't do it. We don't have the, uh... I'm jumping into a minefield. We don't have the heat to be able to do that, so let's just brace here. Who do we have left? Anybody? I think that's it. So if we can get a shot on these guys next turn before they move, I mean, they're all full strength, which is beautiful. I mean, it's the first time I think we faced a match where everybody was full strength. So it looks like four and a half skulls might be the sweet spot. As long as they got two to one odds, because I mean, they're doing a lot of retreating. Oh, except for this guy. He's decided to move himself forward. You might as well bulwark because you're going to take a face full of it in a second. Uh, can we... Yeah, he's going to start taking facefuls of lead here. Not quite the right range. Although it is the right... The right color. Time. Let's, go. Let's move back here. We're just going to fire the hyper laser. I don't want to uh, damage it. Okay, it hit. Beautiful. Yeah, they just don't want any piece of those, eh? Alright, Doc. Um, okay, let's see if we can... You, maybe? Yeah, I mean, I could thunder the uh, Atlas, but with the experience we had with the Stone Rhino, um, it barely it barely did any damage. It's really only good against weakened Vex. But, I mean, it is kind of an area denial weapon. I mean, we could have put it on these guys. At least the Quick Draw has moved himself to protect the Orion from the rack. <laughs> He's like, I'll save you, buddy. Either that or he's like, hurry up and get the hell out of the way. We're all going to die. I'm listening. Are you? Rack's jammed. That's fine. Going to throw up the tag barrage, hoping to hit the vehicles as well. And we'll fire. Beautiful. Moving. Mm -hmm. 
spread out a little bit. We got a little bit of damage on this guy. Yeah, he's, I mean, maybe the good, well, oh, crap, really? Maybe a good uh, LRM strike might do it. We've got an LRM-70 still left. Workhorse has still got to go, so maybe we drop some, or not uh, Workhorse, uh, Mastodon. Fire and maneuver, baby. Fire and maneuver. Here it comes. Engaging target. Okay, a little bit of armor stripping. Oh, he's not evasive anymore. Let's just spread out. Might as well warlord it. I can't believe we lost that ultra. Going to use the tag arrow because we've got it. Alright, you're going to take damage, but that's fine. wonder how much. Come on, show me how much. Yeah, we took a pummeling from those rockets. Oh, nothing, really? Alright, well, I guess the uh, selective, um, or uh, what's it called? Um, let's get this guy a face full of it here. Roger. I was thinking about dropping some rounds on the... Uh, the vehicle here. What's our chance to hit from here? 25? I think it really needs to be the... Oh, he's almost done, though. Let's clear him up. Come on, finish him off. There we go. Guns off the field, baby. Vehicle trash. Thank you. Thank you very much. What was I saying? I was saying something. Oh, yeah, the Ultra 20. I should create a priority list of stuff that I want. Ultra 20 now is definitely on the priority list. That Nidhogg's coming back, huh? I might go ahead uh, with the next series. I might pull out the pilot morale because I'm always seeming to face, even at four and a half skull missions, enemies that are fleeing. And it's, I don't know. I feel guilty when I'm shooting Max in the back all the time. Maybe maybe call me a clanner in, at heart, but shooting the enemy in the back is like... I don't know. I'd rather have a good stand-up fight. Alright, that's some good hits. How many did we get? Five? Okay. He's had enough. There goes our cover. you think? Okay, here's a question. And we're about to answer it. I always wondered... Have no doubt it will be done. If destroying a building under a helicopter would destroy the helicopter. What do you think? No, it just puts them on the ground. One less structure. Yeah, it just puts them on the ground. Smart coding, guys. Smart coding. Minefield there, eh? Roger that. Let's raise that guy's heat level. It's also going to raise our heat level, but whatever. Okay, so the SRM... Deadfire is 73. That's our best damage, so let's go with it. Did we miss with the barrage? I think we did, yeah. Well, at least they got no cover either. Oh, looks like they, a bunch of guys took damage back there. From building debris, I guess. I guess so. How's this guy doing? Not so hot. 
If he goes first next turn, it could be an issue. The MML build at 65 tons, I think if we were operating in a 65 ton range, like in heavies and stuff, I think it would be pretty good. It's pretty versatile with a variety of selection of ammo. They're light launchers. I think they're like four and a half tons each or something. They're not very heavy. They do take up a lot of internal space, so that's one thing you'll have to be aware of. And they do jam, so you got to be wary of that as well. But with the variety of ammo you can use, like SRMs, SRM, or L and all LRMs, um, they can be pretty functional. Although as a mass fire weapon, I don't know. I'm not. I don't. I don't know. I think you're still better off with ATMs. Because the plus one to hit and a plus one invasion ignore inherit on the ATM. Now you don't get you don't get bonus ammo, but you do get standard and um, HE ammo, which in, even in a long range capacity you're doing more than LRMs, so it's basically worth it. Um, what do I, where, where do I want you now? I don't know if you need to move. I think you're in a good spot here. So he just sat still. Okay, we're on the we're on the thunderstrucks. So let's drop some stuff on this guy. Target lost on enemy rear. Come on, damage, 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 damage. Ah. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah. Just stay there. You are in good position. This guy did not move. He is in for a world of hurt. Look at that, even offensive push at this range. Look at the chance to hit. All right, we're gonna try and pull a leg. Yeah, mostly torso hits, damn it. Let's rotate it over here a little bit. Get a better angle on the guys in the back if they decide to move forward. move into here aye, aye. Um, just shoot him well there goes that building yes, Commander. we got a Cyclops rear shot but this is the Atlas we want the leg gonna leave the barrage off for now Confirmed. oh nice shooting Hyper laser got the leg. Unsteady, even better. Start moving in a little bit. I'm hesitant to use a full rack on this guy. Oh, lament, okay. Lament, le whatever. The L guy. Alright, fire maneuver, baby. TBM 30 is gone. LRM 4. Oh, this guy's got like nothing left here. Uh, let's see if we can clear him up. Copy that. See ya. Sure is. All right, let's get your AMS Mark II uh, into here. That should protect these three guys. Beautiful. The more kills we get like that, the more apt they are to retreat. I know I said feel. I know I said I feel guilty when we're facing facing their backs, but. If we can avoid having them all shoot at us at once, that's a good thing. So we still got a Thanatos to deal with on the right. And what was it again? A striker or something? No, it wasn't a striker. Uh, Bola. That was what it was. So they've got, what, three, six, nine, ten guys left. I don't think the Lament, I don't think this guy's the leader. Although it might be, I don't know. Fifty-three, huh? 
We could try and start the other leg. Good chances to hit. Do it. I'm guessing you didn't like that. It may force him just to stand there, I don't know. Let's move into here. All right. Yes, Commander. Man, I really just want to run up here and shoot this guy in the back. <laughs> in the back. Do this. Yep. Just hit once, please. Really? Okay, let's just get out of his sight. Still retreating. You pull his leg off for me, please. Not the best weapon to be doing this with, though. Um, come on. 49, huh? I mean, we could go with two nines and hope we get it. You know what, let's go with everything and hope for a knockdown. We get the leg? Did not get the leg. Oh, he's got an AC-20 Devils. Not anymore. I mean, we, if it survives, we could take that. Devils out of cannon, AC-20. But the only problem with that is it's just random damage, right? You know how I feel about random damage. You need that, you know, <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, it could do, it could do like, you know, 66 and it could do like 166 or whatever the hell it is. But it's like, oh yeah, all we need is 100 and then you get like 66. It's like, oh great, great, thanks. Really count on that. And then there's those times where you just need to give the guy, a, you just need to give the guy a love tap and you hit him for like max damage. But whatever. Let's see what this guy does. Still got both of his legs. Not for long, though. He's just going to back up. He turned around! You committed suicide. Well, at least I can't uh, offensive push his legs now. That's what he's thinking. Kind of a dumb train of thought, but sure, whatever. That guy's backing up. Oh, the quick draw decided to fight, finally. Let's make him make him regret that decision. I'm here. Alright, we don't have Oh, we got line of sight on his back. I know we got a minefield in the way, but if we're gonna if we're gonna get these guys at one point. If we're gonna get these guys, we gotta get them. So let's just go do it. If I just fire straight out, there's a chance we could hit his legs. So let's just do that. Okay, the big one missed. Looked like a couple of leg hits there. Let's push these guys. Let's sweep them. Time to take them off the field. Done playing around. Thanatos. I don't know where he is. He probably retreated. That's the bowler, right? Yeah. Yeah. Roger that. 
Uh, let's just shoot you. Mm, you? 25 in the Orion. Let's take that one. And that's going to have to work harder than that. Reporting. Let's just do this, Goofy. Uh, Haywire or Beacon? Let's go Beacon on this guy. Make it, make everybody happy. Firing. Oh well, well, see ya. Let's sweep them. We're done. With the Atlas going down, they should all probably panic. So they've got support lance two is on the right. So they got three guys left still. So they should have five guys up here plus the leader. I don't. I'm missing one here. Oh, what? What? Is there, what? Oh. Where's that juicy side shot? I got. Oh wait, do I have to sprint? No, I don't. Oh come on, right here. There it is. Beautiful. Hold still everybody, I'm firing lasers through here. Yeah. It's bizarre having friendly fire on, cause like, you really gotta think about where you're putting your guys and how accurate, accurate your, your, uh, your mechs are. Alright, full rack. Make this guy run, or we blow him up. One or the other. Oh, now I'm just He's got good up. stability, though. All right, Doc, get over here. Orion, please. He's the guy that decided to turn to fight. So we'll give him the what fur. Got no life support left. What do you want to do, buddy? Uh, just get into here. We got two turns before the arrow's back, so we'll hold off. Oh, someone's decided to join the fight? Okay. Oh shit, if he's got rockets, someone's in trouble. And now we wait for him to decide who he's going to blow up. It could be rocket AOE, in which case he's most likely going to shoot these guys, but he might shoot one of these two here. Let's hope it's somebody with lots of armor. We're going to get Workhorse, I think, to uh, target this guy with the MMLs. Get the SRM Deadfire running up. Yep. Ow. I'm taking heat damage. <laughs> Is that all you're taking? You're taking a little more than that, I think. At least it ain't minefields. Let's just move over here. Um <laughs> a little more than heat damage, buddy. How much of these can we apply here? Oh, we can use both MMLs. SRM dead fires. Beautiful, let's take it. Some heavy damage. Okay, nice. Nice! Is that it for us? Looks like that's it for us now. That was an ouch. That's that Thanatos, I think. Isn't it? Or is that the Bola? That's the Thanatos, I think. No, it's probably the Bola, because the Bola would move slower, wouldn't it? 
probably. Maybe? I don't know. It's not letting me pan over there. So there's definitely somebody else straight ahead. Most likely somebody, one of their guys spawned on a building and couldn't move because they don't have jump jets. So they're a building turret. I've been playing a, uh, um, uh, what do you want to call it, a uh, second game on the side. I haven't gotten very far. I've been playing like um, just regular mercenaries and discovering how difficult it is to uh, really get started in Rogue Tech. I mean, we, we, we had a clan start, so we had some half-decent mechs, but just taking a general mercenary start, I've got uh, a blackjack with a pair of ER larges, and it started off with four streak SRM2s, which I've moved off of it since, but uh, also started off with a Whitworth, a Javelin that had four medium lasers, a regular commando with a large laser and a raven which is actually pretty good not not too bad but I started off with max C bills yeah we got a nasty bugger back there I started off with max C bills just to see how it would go and you really kind of need it to get the Argo up, up and going things like that you know um, but it can be very, I don't know, this game is just, it's, forces you to think constantly, right? Not only in what the best move is, but really what your best loadouts are. Not like I've got, like all of my mechs with the weapon systems they have on them overheat. So you really, even with the four medium lasers, right? I just don't have enough heat sinking <laughs> to be able to deal with four medium lasers. So you really got to think, you know, where you're moving, what weapons you're going to fire, and why. You know, right now the Whitworth has got. Um, let me think now. It's got two medium lasers, and oh Jesus, a medium pulse laser. And I put the four streak twos on it. It's super overheating because it's got normal heat sinks, right? And then I was able to... Um, I took off the four streaks, like, like I said, off of the uh, the blackjack and put in one large laser because I, I managed to pick up a level three inner sphere exchanger. All right, so what do we got back here? Oh, crap. Okay, you haven't been damaged, so let's get up in here. We're going to take advantage of what we've got here. Let's try and remove this Cyclopsian Horror. Anyway, just playing the low-level mechs again. I'm not... I, I left the salvage at 5. And I'm not choosing mech salvage, I'm just letting it kind of roll in. Just choosing components, and really that's... When you start, I think that's what you should be doing anyway, is just choosing components. Just, I love the idea of working with, work, working on the mechs, getting them like... up to snuff. Okay, I'm gonna save the barrage, because I want to hit those choppers with it. But I am gonna Warlord on this guy. I want him gone. Um... What's he got left here? Not a whole lot. Might as well fire the beacon at him. Actually, you know what? Uh, too late. We already warlorded. I was going to multi-target, but no need to. See ya. You don't have a target. Uh, I'm going to need to vigilance you because you got a sprint. Get up here in the trees. Should have waited. Damn. Oh well. 
Can you get a sh eyes on those guys? You cannot. But you can get a good shot at the back of this guy. Just gonna fire normally. Do I want to um, warlord this? LRM 20, LBX 10 with a slug. Narc beat, um. Fuck it, let's do it. Wow, the overcharge sheet is ridiculous, eh? We save it for warlord shots though? Oh yeah! You really got to be careful with that thing. Commander. Uh, how are you doing? You're all right. Rotary's down anyway. Let's just sprint it. Um, just bring it into here. I copy. Uh, let's hope we get lucky. We'll fire it all. Confirmed. Beautiful. See ya. Target destroyed. That's what you call a cleanup crew, baby. They're still shooting at you, eh? Oh, wait. Uh. I put the pedal down. I'm worried about losing the arm, but what difference is it? Oh, no, we got the uh, mount in there. That's right. We don't want to lose the mount. Although I think I've got a couple in reserve. Anyway, so as I was saying about the light mechs and stuff, it's just really fun like to to acquire gear and figure out loadouts, you know? When you're in clan space, it's kind of a little more obvious because you're you know, when you fight clan mechs, there's a lot of good gear you can grab. But then, you know, when you're in inner sphere space, it's like, okay, do I take the medium lasers or <laughs> You know what I mean? Or do I take, you know, the ammo, or what do I take? I could use an extra medium laser. Uh, let's just walk it into here, get some stuff back. Heat, stability, all that good stuff. One more turn for the tag barrage to be back. I'm going to ignore the guys on the right for now. The bull and the Thanatos aren't really that big concern. It's those two friggin uh, gunships at the back there we gotta worry about. Which still have to go I believe. Yep. So stealth bombers. Yeah we haven't seen the uh, support lance or the uh, main guy yet I don't think. I think he's hiding back there. Supporting pirate forces. Wait, no, he's got to be one of those guys. Because we've got the Bola and the Thanatos on the right, which is the supporting pirate forces. Support Lance 1 and 2. I don't know if it's the Stealth Bombers. Most likely it is. Maybe the maybe the Lament is the uh, main guy. We'll find out this turn because he hasn't moved and he's decided to stand there. Can we get up here? Yep. He's facing us. There's the guy. All right. Everybody on him. It's nice when you get those, you know, those missions where you like in early in the early game where it's like, "Oh, endo steel. Yeah. Oh, ferrofibrous. Yeah." <laughs> Uh, let's not be in everybody else's way, though. Move over here a little bit. Uh, better keep our side. Keep our side up. Now, do we want to go with... Let's not overcharge it. I don't want to damage the thing. Did I fire the tag? I didn't want to fire the tag. Did I fire the tag? I think I did. 
because I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. All right, let's let them. I think their uh, AMSs won't reach this far. Engaging with target. Oh, it is. Look at they're firing. Wow, that was an easy kill. Wow, there's our evac zone. Reporting. Not that we're evacing, because you know me. We can't even hit those. Oh, because we've got HE on, that's why. Now, I don't know. They shouldn't be stuck. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hey guys, come on, let's get over there. Let's get over there. Let's get him in AMS range. That little red circle here, I don't know if you guys know, there's a little red circle here. Shows me the AMS range. Uh, it's just fire. How can you get in there? To you can't. You can go bola hunting though. Move over here. Got it. It's got low armor, so I gotta be careful. Hellion, what do you think? You can give him a hand. Maximum speed. You sure can. Ah, oh, Thanatos could take the LRM-15. All that AMS and we still hit twice. He's a 75 tonner, but he ain't gonna survive with the rack in his face. Oh, that guy's moving out of the way. Guess they don't call them stealth bombers for nothing. They just friggin' vanished off my sensors. Is he gonna fire though? That's the question. Nope. Beautiful. You know, those barrages, well, they're in very interesting. I'm just having a thought here. So while they're very interesting, um, let's see if we can see anybody from over here. All right, let's move. Still nothing, huh? If you think about it, though, if that kind of barrage came from off, like, I mean, technically it comes from off the map board, right? Um, right, because it's a it's a indirect fire coming from off the map board, and um, but if you think about it, fighting mechs in the city, your best bet um, wouldn't be using another mech. Because the me oh, I thought we had a blip over here. Nothing, huh? All right. Uh, your best bet wouldn't be another mech because the mechs that are out there are going to pick up the heat signature. Your best bet would be infantry armed with laser sighters, right? Laser pointers, and then bringing in pinpoint artillery. We get something? We got something finally. That's the other one I think though. Aye, aye.
Oh, that's the injured guy. Uh, would we warlord this? Probably. That's his rear end, though. Alright, we did apply a lot of damage. Not enough, though. We're gonna move up to... That's flames on the way. Move up to here. Support these guys with the AMS. The bola moving? No, nope, Thanatos is trying to run. Now we got two barrages on this side, which is kind of sucky, but be able to take the vehicle out. Uh, I'm going to leave the dead fire on for now. Alright, is it for you? We still got Goofy to go on 18. But yeah, I mean, infantry with laser pointers. And if you want to, you know, like, if you look at the damage that we've done here to the buildings and stuff, if you want to save buildings, you know, you just get guided missiles, drop from aircraft, take out the mechs. Awaiting orders. It just, I don't think the mech itself would be a viable platform. Especially in a city. That guy hasn't been hit yet. But we're going to fire on this guy. Here it comes. Got the angle. The shot. Beautiful. Three left. Reporting enemy vehicle eliminated. We shouldn't really take too much more damage as long as these guys keep trying to run. I mean, it's going to be harder to hit them if they're trying to run away, but they don't really have anywhere to go. And I know I mentioned this before. Um, Age of Wonders has got, if you're attacking an enemy, you have the ability to retreat. And it's got, on the edge of the map board, um, arrows leaving. So, they, you know, it'd be cool if there was like a, a retreat zone. So he's on the, he's in the very back corner. We're in the wrong spot here. Let's get over here. Worst case scenario is we keep his sense our our sensors on him. Let's just reserve. Yeah. Twenty five percent. We'll take it. Take the shot. Well, that was good building damage. Come on. Why don't you let me move there? That's weird. I had to right click then left click. Uh, copy. Somebody's in shredder mode. Oh, that's a jump. I want sprint. Oh, come on. You're not going to reveal yourselves, huh? Let's just reserve. See what they do. What can you do? Can you get up there? You can't either, eh? Let's get into here. And let's see if we can just do this and use the Thunder LRM. Wait. LRM? Thunder. We should be able to indirect fire. Why can't we indirect fire? Oh, okay. I got to click off and click back on. Uh, let's go with the augmented. We've got less of it, but still. See if we can get him to stay there. Now, will this grant us HE? It sure as hell will. And the barrage. Beautiful. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. Wow. He's out of range. He's going down. 
No idea if we got the tag on. Let's just sprint down here. Might be able to get in the battle next turn. Alright, now we got this side. Oh, we got... Did Duck go yet? No. We still got this side, though. I wonder if this guy's going to move. Thanatos might be nice to have. 75 tons? No, he's not moving. Where's that guy going? He freaking vanished again. The edge of the map board is like where? Right here. So he had to have gone along here, probably. Standing by. It's like playing a game of freaking chess with these guys. Uh, let's just do this, just to make sure we can shoot at somebody. Thunder improved. Spread it around. Let's give that guy some love. Alright, he didn't go anywhere, girl. Go after him. No, you can't hit him just yet, but you will soon. Alright, we got one last shot with the streaks. Or with the uh, LRMs, I mean. Take it. Let him know we're on the way. He used up all his AMS, so... Not for long, they ain't. You got them streaks, girl. Alright, Lilo Dallas, multi-pass. Let's see if we can find this guy. Just get up here. Nothing. Uh, this is a reserve for him. There we go. Death of a Thanatos. Wow. Poor Lord. See ya! Totally worth it. That's a reserve. Standing by. Ready for orders. I'm gonna ignore the vehicle. That helicopter's or the bomber's gotta be up here somewhere. No? Where did it go? Stealth is real. Alright, uh, let's reserve. You're almost out of ammo. Oh, he's almost out of ammo. Where the hell did it go? We didn't kill it. Where did it go? It's good to go. Hold in here. I don't know where the hell it went. All right, let's switch this over. SRM dead fire, beautiful pulse barrage. Uh, we want to barrage him this close. Sure, we do. See ya. Oh. Did we kill the chopper? Oh, we didn't kill the chopper. Well, as much as I hate not killing that last uh, stealth um, stealth copter. I'm kind of glad 
it ended because I didn't want to spend two turns trying to find the damn guy. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, so we lost to Ultra 20. Down to seven points in the arm. All right. Well, Grand Summoner. Uh, did the Hyper Laser take damage? We've only got one part of an asset. Uh, we could take two Orion parts. I think we have an Orion kicking around. The M is the XL engine too. I knew I said I wasn't going to take parts, but we do need to get another mech going here. Advanced AMS. That's the one that's... Yeah, that's the one we wanted, right? Yeah, I passed over one of those in the past, but I think we're not going to pass it over this time. Let's take that guy. Heavy PPC risk. It'd be nice if we could run a double double risk uh, platform. Let's throw that there for now. Magshot cannon, 40 damage for 5 heat, 8 ton weight, 16 rounds. 8 tons though. I guess if you got the weight and you need a weapon, it's not bad. What's the range on that thing though? Hang on a second. Range was what? 510, so not that bad. 16 rounds. Make sure you keep it in the arm. It's volatile. Rotary 2 risk. Could have a mech with a pair of rack 2s, but at this point, those are super light. Uh, we've already got a ballistic. Um, emergency cooling system. Regular XLs. Exchanger, which we could really use. I don't think there's going to be much that sways me from what I've already got, though. Prototype double heat sinks are nice. If they were clumped up in a group, sure. Radical double heat sink kit we don't need. Tracker sensors are nice, but not more important. Double load of AMS ammo. We've already got two of these, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, it's just ammo after this. So, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, AC-5, a couple of rocket, AOE rocket 20s. Four slots for two tons, one shot. 20 rockets. Area effect. That would have been nice on the uh, Bushwhacker. Um, ERPPC Pirate, heavy risk, couple of case. 160 core XL we can sell. Energy indirect man. Oh, we got some AMS ammo. That's good. TBM 10. Okay, so we didn't really get anything else that we really needed. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Well, not much we can do about it. So I was just thinking as the game was loading back over. What might be an interesting build is having a dedicated AMS mech. So with advanced AMS, AMS Mark II. Maybe a laser AMS for itself, but as long as it's got one missile hardpoint, then we can put on an arrow system, so it would be usable for long-range firepower. But it would just stay behind buildings and whatever, and all it would do is offer anti-air protection for everybody. That's just a thought. I mean, we still need like on our forward mechs, we still need their own AMSs, but for a uh, a support mech that's a possibility I'm gonna keep that in mind for later all right I'm gonna I'll worry about getting everything repaired figure out what we're gonna do now that we lost the ultra 20 I mean we do have another rack 5 so we could put another rack 5 on into play um, the, the thing about the grand summoner with the ultra 20 is you got to get in close to use it and it, it wasn't really working all that great I mean it, when it worked it worked great but in this mission as you can see it didn't really get into a position where we could use it at all so having those long range um, weapons are I think a little bit more of an advantage. So maybe another Rack 5 build. But I'll think about it. Rack 5 is kind of only good in a mech where you can put a weapon mount and recoil reduction on it. The Grand Summoner doesn't have those shoulder uh, components to be able to do that. But I might be able to augment it in a different way. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, I'm going to end the episode there. Um, 
I'm going to check. Actually, you know what? Before we go, let's just check if we've got enough for an Orion. Because if I do, then I'll pull out these lighter mechs. We'll bring the Orion in and get it set up. So let's go with, uh, let's see here. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we've got enough. Just enough. So the 1C was the 360 core autocannon file. Yeah, so we want this one, the M, the one we just picked up because it's got the XL engine and stuff. So let's ready this guy. Let's have a look. It's nice having C bills in the bank. I don't have to worry about my uh, financial report. All right, let's see this here. Doesn't look like we get a lot off it. Oh, the core is still intact. That's really great. Okay, not so bad. The XL engine is still intact till we can get it swapped out. Um, yeah, that's actually quite good. All right, you know what? This is going to become a Rack 5 build. Let's do this. And we might as well go here. We got turret mount too. Oh, the ballistic is... Oh, he doesn't have ballistic in the uh, arm. The one Orion that we had before... Oh, I think we had the Orion 2C. We had ballistic in both arms, the double rack build that we had. I mean, we could put the turret mount in here, auto cannon in here, auto, the auto cannon accuracy for plus two accuracy. Put the rack in the sh in the torso. Round up with like ER mediums or something, or a, uh, or an ATM in the arm or something. Got the opportunity for an AMS in the CT. Yeah, I mean, let's just do that for now. I'm not going to leave the armor off for now because we might have to. Uh, We might have to um, put something else in other than Pharaoh, just for space. Let's max out, max out the armor though. So with the core in and everything, that's not bad. What about cooling? What do we got for that? We don't have Protect Double Heat Sinks kit, do we? We do. This could be a Risk PPC build too. One in each arm with weapon mounts. Prototype double heat sink kit. How many prototype double heat sinks do we have? Twelve. I'm thinking so. Um. Yeah, see that up for now. Let's do this. Let's confirm it. We got stuff to sell. So I'm going to drop some mechs out of service between episodes. I'm going to pull two out. Uh, we're going to leave one of the other ones in. I haven't decided which one yet. We'll leave one in. Uh, I may drop this guy. No, we haven't had a chance to really get a chance to use this guy yet. But I may do an Ultra 10 build on the other uh, Grand Summoner. Um, the Loki Prime, the Rack 2 and the Ultra 5. We haven't had a chance to use this guy either. The Thunderbolt MMM build, while it's interesting, I don't think it's really up to snuff with what we're at right now. It can be devastating at close range, but it's 65 tons. I don't think it's really the mech we want here. So once it gets repaired, we're going to drop it out of service. I think we'll leave the Loki Prime, or the, I keep calling it the Loki Prime, the Hades. It's because it says LK, I just, uh, I'm assuming Loki. Um, but we'll leave the Hades in service just simply because of the hard points. We've got way more hard points that we can um, apply to stuff here. It's more, more of a versatile mech build. And maybe we try to turn it into a long range energy build again, or I don't know, a short range tanky build. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We don't have much weight on this thing, which is why I have to be careful. But it does have some stuff we could use. Tier 1 and Tier 2 patchwork materials, which we might be able to use on the Orion. So yeah, I think we'll pull out these two mechs. This one's easier to repair too. That's the other thing. Alright, going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.